Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at Broad Lane Leisure and I'm going to be filming a review of this. It's the Swift Escape 694 Motorhome. This is a mid-range motorhome in the Swift range and there are seven models altogether in the Escape range. Prices are going to range from around £54,000 to £58,000 depending on the model. So what do we need to know about it? Well, the 694, it is based on the Fiat Ducato cab. It has a 2.3 litre diesel engine with AdBlue and it comes with 120 brake horsepower. You can upgrade that to 140 brake horsepower. Size wise, this motorhome is 7 metres and 41 centimetres in length, so fairly long. It's 2.3 metres in width and it's 2.8 metres in height. Weight wise, it's a three and a half tonne motorhome. So that means you can drive this on your B category driver's license. And the payload's very generous at 578 kilograms. In terms of the berths, the one we're looking at today, this is a four berth, but you can purchase this motorhome with an optional drop down bed and make it a six berth motorhome. It comes as standard with four seats altogether, although there is the option to increase that to five, which will obviously accommodate extra people if you go for the optional drop down bed. So let's have a look around. So the Escape, as I say, it is mid range. We get as standard the white paintwork on the cab. On the roof, we're not getting solar panel as standard. You could have that fitted, but we do get a television aerial. As I make my way down the 7.41 metres, it continues with the white all the way down the coach built body. The decals, we've got a, a burnt orange snake skin and the black. Fuel tank, now this is a, is a diesel engine. It will take 60 litres of diesel fuel and 19 litres of add blue. We don't have an awning as standard on the Escape, but you can fit those. They start fitted at around about £800. We have a window into our lounge area, and then we have a one-piece solid door. There's no window on this specification of motorhome, so we don't get a window on that. We do, however, get an awning light up there. We get a window again into the habitation area. We do get steel wheels, but with wheel trims. And then we get a window into the bedroom. And then back here, we get a little bit of storage. Unfortunately, it is locked, so I can't show you it, but we do have some storage there where you can keep a few bits and pieces. What we'll do is we'll venture around the back of the motorhome next and have a look at that. So we're at the back of the Escape 694. We get the one piece solid white back end. We've got pre-installation if you wanted to purchase and fit the two lay bike rack. We've got a reversing camera. We've got rear parking sensors. And then we've got Escape 694. So it gives you an idea about the back of the motorhome. If you did want to, want to tow a small car or trailer, you could have a tow bar fitted and this motorhome will tow up to 2,000 kilos or two tonnes, as far as I'm aware. So what we'll do now is we'll just make our way back down the off side of the 694. So again, we've got the same white side. We have here our storage for LPG. Now, this motorhome, the Escapes, they will take one six kilo gas bottle and one 13 kilo gas bottle. So that's where our gas is going. We've got our external vent here, Truma. This motorho motorhome has Truma air-blown heating and hot water, so it's not a wet central heating system. Coming down, we see the external Dometic vents for the tower, fridge and freezer, and we'll see a bit more of that when we go inside. And then we find the toilet cassette. So that indicates our washroom's going to be here. Again, something to look at inside. And last but not least, we've got our water filler point and we've got a 12 volt. So if you're aware, you can either fill it up at the motorhome service point or at home before you set off. Or if you're on a pitch and you don't want to move, you can use an aqua roll with a 12 volt pump and feed in fresh water. The fresh water tank on the Escape 694 is 100 litres, so that's a good sized tank. And the waste water tank is 68 litres, so you'll be fine off grid for several days. 
So last but not least, we then have our electric hookup plug-in here on the off side, and we've got the door into the uh, driver's side of the motorhome. So there we go, that's the exterior of the Escape. What we'll do next is we'll hop inside and see what we want to see the inside. So I'll see you in there. So here we are inside the Escape 694. Now this is a good sized motorhome at 7 metres and 41 in length and 2 metres and 30 centimetres in width. So it's going to give you plenty of space and it's a nice open plan motorhome. As I say, in its format, it comes as a four berth with four seats. However, you can add a drop down bed and I'll explain that as we go along. But this is a mid-range motorhome from Swift, but we're still getting a good level of equipment and comfort. So first of all, we've got the Fiat Ducato cab and we've got the manual gearbox. As I say, it comes as a 120 brake horsepower, but you can upgrade that to 140 if you wish. And we've got various bits and pieces that we'd expect there. We've then got our two captain's chairs, both that swivel round. And that leads into this nice lounge area. And it's a good open plan lounge area. We've got a really nice bench seat here, which has got plenty of space for easily two people or for relaxing on. And then we sweep round to an L shaped. And that's a really nice long bench seat again there. So plenty of room. If you do turn this into a five, six berth, there's going to be plenty of room for all the family. We find we get this table, which is going to be where we're going to be eating at, and this will swivel, move and drop down. You can drop this table down and these lounge seats will convert into one really large double bed. I believe it's six foot ten in length in its longest uh, made up position. But that gives you an idea of two of the berths. Now, I'll move further down into the lounge area. So in terms of the blinds, we're going to find we've got the concertina blinds. As you all know, I prefer these ones. They nice, give a nice sort of softer feel to the motorhome. And we also have fly screens and they're all around as well. Storage wise in the Escape. Now, don't forget, as I say, we have a good payload, 578 kilos on this particular model. So carrying equipment with you isn't quite so much as a, of a worry. These are huge cupboards. As you can see, there's, there's massive depth in those and height. So very good cupboards. And we also find cupboards on the other side. Now, if you were wanting the drop down bed option to give you two more berths, the drop down bed is an option that's going to fit above us. So during the day, you'd retract it up so you wouldn't notice it. And then on a night time, it will lower down above these berths and there'd be a ladder that you'd use to climb up to get onto it. And if you go for that option, that, um, that is a double bed, but you will have to bear in mind it's going to take about 100 kilograms off the payload of your 578 kilograms. So that bed's going to reduce this payload to 478, which is still a very good payload, but it's just worth bearing in mind. So that's an option that you can have fitted. So as I move back now, so we've got the habitation door and as we can see we don't have a window in it in this sort of mid-range uh, model. We do have Swift Command though, um, which if you're not familiar with controls all uh, the electrics of the motorhome. The water pump, awning light, lighting, heating and water. And as I mentioned this motorhome's got Truma air blown heating and hot water. There's a separate control for it there but you can uh, work it off the swift command that's the whole idea of that panel it just makes it sort of uh, more easy to manage opposite that on this side we're going to find a pre-installed bracket so this is where we're going to put our television on a full bracket we'll then have an aerial socket and we're going to have a plug so you'll be able to fit that there and turn it round so people in the lounge area can sit and relax and watch television what we'll do next is we'll just spin around and we'll have a look in the Swift kitchen. So here we are, the kitchen on the near side of the motorhome. It's a really good size. Not only do we have the worktop space here, but we've also got a really good size flap. 
So when you pull the flap up, we've got extra worktop space there, we've got the space back there, and we've got an absolutely huge sink. It's absolutely massive. And we do have a tap that swivels as well. Above it, there's a little bit of a shelf here. Again, if you're small, it's not always that easy to get into these places. That's the only thing to think about. And we've got two plug sockets, so we can um, plug in kettles, coffee machines, toasters. It's well lit as the kitchen, to be fair, and we've got a nice skylight above. In here, a really good sized cupboard, and we've got a rack for plates, and we've got somewhere there for glasses uh, to go. Again, if you're a little bit smaller, you might find that a little bit tricky to get into. I think I would probably struggle there, if I'm absolutely honest, um, but nonetheless, it's storage. We've then got a microwave. Microwaves at a, a reasonable height, very deep. It's a good sized microwave as, as motorhomes go. So microwave there. And just be careful because the microwave is over the hob. So if you're using the hob, be careful that you don't catch any pans. Now, this is a Thetford appliance. We just find we have three gas burners. There's no electric plate. So this will only be usable on gas, but that's fine. Uh, as long as you've got your gas bottles that are topped up. Under there, now this is a gas oven and grill in one. So as you can see, you open this up, we've got the grill up above and then the oven at the back there and there's different controls as well. So it's a bit more of a space saving appliance is that one. Below it though, what we do find is some nice drawer space. And I do like drawers on a caravan and a motorhome. I will say that. They're much easier to get to. And then under there, we've just got a little bit of cupboard space, maybe for some tins or pans or something. Now moving along, we find the next bit of storage space. There we go. Now, this is quite a nice setup. We've got um, a lot of shelving space under here, here. So this is going to be sort of for bottles or tins, various things like that. And we're going to find a slide out cutlery drawer as well. So that's nice for various bits there. And we do also get a cover for the sink and a plastic draining board as well for when we've been doing our washing up. So it's a, it's a well thought out kitchen. It's got everything that we're going to need. And that does fold up as well there, as you can see. So that's the kitchen area. I'm just going to keep going back now into the bedroom. So I'll just stand up on here. Now, we do find we have a privacy curtain. It's not a screen, it's a curtain that we're going to slide across. And then this, this lead us, leads us into the bedroom area. Now, this motorhome has got an island bed, as we can see. It's a rear island bed. It's got the duvalet mattress. The only sort of downside with this that I can see is this mattress, it's only um, six feet in length, which that's a fairly short bed. So if you're tall, you may find this is a little bit short, but width wise, I believe it's four feet and four inches in width. Um, so, but it's just the length there that I'd just mention. Cupboard space, we've got plenty of it. This is very good. We've got wardrobes on each side of the bed. So as we can see, we've got a rail above. Obviously we've just got a few bits here in this demo model, but it gives us a good idea um, of what we're going to get. So I'll just close that one up. And as I say, same on the other side. You may have noticed we've got a USB charger, we've got a light switch, and we've got this nice table here. So on a morning, we can uh, have a cup of tea or coffee in bed. There's more storage above as well with these cupboards, and these are a good size. Again, they've got a good height and depth to them, so we can keep bits of clothing in there. Above the bed, We've got a nice sunroof again, that does open up so we can bring air in as well if we're away in summer and it's a little bit warm. So in terms of the bedroom space, we've got some um, 
good, good amount of space around the bed for getting dressed. It's just the bed is a little bit small. Um, just on the corner here where I'm stood now, we've got a mirror, a large mirror, which is ideal for checking how you look before you go out. And there's also a plug socket. So if you're a lady and you want to use a hairdryer or hair straighteners or a gentleman with an electric razor or something, then you've got that facility there. Now, as I move back down through the motorhome, we're going to have a closer look now at this offside. So on the offside, we're going to find the Dometic Tower fridge and freezer. And this is a really good size. This is 133 litres. So even if you are a family of five or six people, you're going to get absolutely loads of food in there. We've got shelving here, the shelves there, a large salad tray, and we do have a freezer compartment as well for ice creams and lollies and important holiday food like that. So yeah, it's, it's a good size and it is the one that opens on both sides as well. And just above it, there is a little bit more storage space here as well. So if I open that up, we can see we've got where the aerial comes in. That's standard, as I mentioned before, but that is absolutely huge. So you could fill that with maybe cereal packets or something like that. So that's continuing down the offside. And then this is our washroom. And there's always a compromise on every motorhome. And the compromise is going to be the length of the bed, but then this. And this is the all-in-one washroom and bathroom. So I'll open this up. Now, when I say a compromise, what I mean is it's all in one space. So you are going to be limited for space, but it's got everything you're going to need. We've got the Thetford swivel toilet. We've got a towel rail. We've got a cupboard for storing towels or toilet rolls. We've got a shower curtain to make sure water doesn't go where we don't want it. We've got a good size shower head. We've got a nice shower tray with plug. Then we've got a good size sink and a mirror and the tap does swivel and there's also some storage underneath it. So you'll certainly get the family's toiletries in here. Obviously, if you're only a couple or four people, then that's going to be even less of a concern about the size of the bathroom. If there's six of you, then yeah, you're just going to have to compromise on the size of that. But no, it's really nice and practical. So that's the little shower and washroom that this 694 offers. So what we'll do is we'll just bob back into the lounge and we'll just have a little summary about this motorhome. So there we have it, the Swift Escape 694. It's a four berth motorhome, although with that drop down bed, it can be a six berth. So this could be a potentially a very good family layout motorhome. Price wise at around 57, 58 thousand pounds for this model, it's fairly well priced against its competitors and it's certainly well equipped. There's a few extras you might want to put on such as a solar panel and that wind out awning. So generally speaking, I would say that this is a very practical space. It's loads of room in it and it's got that nice island bed at the back, even though it is just that little bit short. So hopefully that's given you a little bit of an idea of a four to six berth motorhome. We'd just like to say thank you to Broad Lane Leisure who've let us come and film today. It's very kind of them to allow us to do so. And to you guys, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.